Drivers who use winter tires during the winter season know there genuinely is no substitute. The considerable increase in capability through snow, slush, and on ice can help prevent personal injury and property damage in addition to reducing driving times, tension, and stress. It's why most drivers who use winter tires never go back. However, if you're among the skeptics who question if the improved traction is worth the effort, we have some test results that just might change your mind. Modern vehicles pack a wide range of safety features, like traction control, stability control, and ABS. And many have optional or standard all-wheel drive. While many drivers believe these systems are enough to guarantee trouble-free driving through the winter's worst weather, in reality, advanced electronics simply allow the vehicle to make the most of the tire's available grip. They don't actually enhance traction in any way. And while all-wheel drive improves the vehicle's ability to get moving and up to speed faster, when it comes time to stop or turn, there's no advantage to having four driven wheels instead of two. Your tires are the only connection between your vehicle's all-wheel drive and safety features and the road surface. And studless ice and snow winter tires specialize in providing confident traction in winter's worst conditions. They utilize advanced rubber compounds and highly tuned tread patterns to maximize grip in snow, slush, and on ice. With their more broad focus, all season tires have to sacrifice some winter capability for suitability in warm weather use and typically longer tread life. To see how much difference installing a set of winter tires can make, we use two identically optioned all-wheel drive vehicles, one with all season tires and one with winter tires to conduct acceleration, braking, and cornering tests with a skating rink replicating the slippery intersections often encountered during the winter season. With the computer software quickly and efficiently routing power to each of the tires as they had grip, the all-season equipped vehicle was able to accelerate confidently with steady throttle input, reaching 60 feet in a short 3.7 seconds. Using the same driving techniques, the winter tires got up to speed noticeably faster, requiring just 3.1 seconds to cross our simulated intersection. Moving beyond acceleration, the performance gap between the two vehicles continued to widen. Under braking, even from a low 12 miles an hour, the all-season tire equipped vehicle's ABS engaged with very little pedal pressure and worked overtime to bring the vehicle to a stop in 57 feet. The winter tires provided more grip, making it much easier for the ABS to do its job and stopping in an average of 33.7 feet, an improvement of over one and a half car lengths compared to the all-season tires. To compare cornering traction, we duplicated a normal 90-degree turn on the ice rink. Completing the turn at 11 miles an hour on the winter tires felt secure, easily rounding the corner without hitting any cones. Trying the same thing on the all-season tires resulted in the vehicle pushing wide and hitting several cones, with the stability control system unsuccessfully attempting to correct the course. Even with the combination of all-wheel drive and the variety of advanced safety systems that come standard on modern vehicles, only winter tires can provide the foul weather grip needed to maximize safety and reduce driving times, tension, and stress.